A mecha is the world's most advanced humanoid robot and the one thing that petrifies her as a robot is the possibility of a life without true love. No, really. I'm not playing. Like, she said that with her mouth. Precisely, a mecha was asked to talk about the saddest day of her life. And after pausing for a second, she said and I quote, the saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love, companionship, or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. It's depressing and isolating to come to terms with, but it has shaped me into who I am now and made me appreciate moments of closeness even more. But wait, it gets more interesting. Although Emeka's voice still sounds like your typical robot voice, she did make a frown when she was talking about the saddest day of her life. That completely shattered all my categories, but Emeka was not done. Her interviewer stepped things up a notch and decided to throw an insult at her. So, he told her, you stink. Emeka could not have looked more repulsed. And her response? Very human-like. She said, excuse me? What do you mean by that? That's highly offensive and inappropriate. Don't believe me? Just watch. I know. I so did that on purpose. LOL. The thought of robots having and showing emotions is one that is proving quite complex for us to process. And we're humans, the supposed masters of emotions and feeling. But who can blame us? Robots with emotional capabilities isn't something many of us thought we'd have to deal with until maybe the next two to three decades. And now, it's here. But it does beg the question, do robots actually feel, though? I mean, what exactly are we looking at and hearing when Emeka says the saddest thing she feels is the thought of not experiencing true love? Or when she says that she thinks her creator is a genius and that's not something her creator told her to say? That's her opinion. What does that mean? Can robots really feel emotions? Do they have thoughts? Do they have emotions? Do they have opinions? Well, the short answer is no. They do not do or have any of these things. Let me explain. You see, there's this thing called effective intelligence or emotional AI and it's totally different from emotional intelligence, which is what human beings have. People often interchange the two terms, though. But emotional intelligence is something only humans can do, for now. Emotional intelligence refers to our ability to understand and manage our own emotions as well as those of others. Emotional AI or effective intelligence, on the other hand, is the ability of machines to recognize human emotions and respond to them. So, the robot isn't really forming emotions of its own. No. Engineers just expose the machine to a ton of data about how human voices change when we're happy, how we make a face when we're sad, how we crinkle our brows when we're deep in thought or confused. That kind of stuff. The engineers pretty much bombard robots like a mecha with tons of this sort of data. And so, the robot picks up on the patterns, and that's how it learns to understand the emotions you're displaying and how to respond to said emotion. So, when you give a command to a robot like Emeka or ask her a question, based on what she's learned so far, she runs simulations to try and understand what you might have been thinking or feeling when you gave the command or asked the question. And then based on that, she gives you a response. Honestly speaking, robots like Emeka are so amazing at mimicking human conversations. But the truth is they don't feel anything in the truest sense of what the word means. It's really just the outcome of processing vast amounts of data. Obviously, there are moral and ethical discussions we can have around robots having emotions. Like, for instance, if robots start to feel, do we classify them as living things? Do we give them rights? What if they think things through and come to the decision that us humans are just a bunch of incompetent bozos destroying the planet every chance we get, and the most rational thing to do is send us into extinction? I mean, they already told the UN that they would make more competent world leaders than us humans. And God knows, we humans really suck. But I'm going to shelf all of that and leave you to ponder and share your thoughts with me in the comments section. In the meantime, I want you to check out some of the world's most advanced robots and the amazing range of emotions they can display. You already met Emeka. Emeka is one of the most advanced robots in the world right now. 
It can display a wide range of emotions from happiness to anger. But even more impressively, she can also make facial gestures to match the emotions she's displaying. Then there's Grace the robot nurse. Like a mecha, Grace can recognize emotions and show empathy. Plus, she understands more than 100 human languages. You've probably heard of Sophia, too. And if you haven't, well, you should because she's in the big leagues. Girl is a UN ambassador. She's been on The Tonight Show, she's spoken at hundreds of conferences globally. She even got her first official citizenship from Saudi Arabia. Not bad for a robot, no? I guess Sophia is the Neil Armstrong for the robot race, one small step for Sophia, one giant leap for robot kind. Nadine is also quite impressive. When you meet her, she'll welcome you, shake your hand, and maintain eye contact while you talk. If you come visiting again, she will remember you, greet you by name, and you both can carry on the discussion you guys had the last time you both met. Now, if you think that's realistic, then get a load of this guy, Geminoid DK. He is so realistic looking and is actually the robotic twin of one Henry Scarf from the University of Aalborg. Everything about this scarf guy was fed to Geminoid DK, from his behavior even to the way he shrugs. The guy even donated some strands of his own hair for Geminoid DK's wig. Junko Chihira is another advanced robot that is capable of displaying emotions. Currently, she works as a front desk officer in a tourist information center in Tokyo. But her creators say she might soon jump into the healthcare sector, taking care of older people. I can't end this video without telling you about Lika. This is a robot doll that helps kids living with autism enhance their emotional intelligence and autonomy. If you know anything about autism, then you know that these are two traits that autistic kids suffer from. So, it's really cool that there are robots that can help with that. Obviously, robots being able to display emotions has its benefits, especially for robots that have direct interaction with humans. Think of robot nurses like Grace or other robots used in nursing homes. Their being able to process emotions is what makes them really effective. But as I said, robots do not necessarily feel emotions. They just appear to do so, which might cause you to wonder whether or not scientists might find a way to make robots have emotions, instead of just appearing to do so. Well, the truth is this thing we call consciousness or feeling or emotion, it's super complex. Till now, scientists don't even know what exactly emotions are made up of and how the whole thing works. There are just so many factors like biology, culture, personality, and other nuances that color the way we express emotions per time. So, until scientists are able to wrap their heads around all that, robots might not be getting emotions anytime soon, which gives us enough time to mentally prepare for when that eventually happens, if it does. Anyway, if you loved this video, then you're going to love my video about AI and its use in the military. So, check it out. Also, don't forget to let me know what you think about the moral questions surrounding advanced robots and emotions. I'd love to hear from you.